good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston here. As most of y'all know, YCS Indie is next week on the same day as the release of the iPhone 5. Are you getting the iPhone 5? Mm, comment below. Yeah, guys, but to me, the best deck will be wind-ups. It's just so dominant right now. All the pro players got this little five-page tutorial on how to play it. I had the privilege of looking at that long, long, long document, and I don't remember any of the combos. All I know is Shockmaster is supposed to come out early, and you're supposed to win the game. Um, I probably won't play windups for Indy. I might stick with Gears or Exodia, one of the two, but it will be one of those. So, guys, I wanted to know your thoughts about side decking two Thunder Kings, two goals and matches, two Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors, um, two Needle Ceilings, two D Fissures, one System Down, one Maxi, one Kinetic Soldier. Uh, yeah. Those are the cards that I believe should be in everybody's side deck regardless of what you do. You need all those cards to me. You need Shadow and Prison of Mirrors for the Dark World games. You need it for the random chaos decks running around. You need Roy Decree for the rogue decks, for the hero decks. You need Roy Decree for um, the Exodia decks running around. And guys, you need Thunder King for just about any and everything. Thunder King is probably one of the most dominant side deck cards in the game right now. And if you're playing a theme-based deck, I believe Goals and Match should be in the side deck. Goals and Match is just too powerful, and windups have a very, very hard time of combating if they see a face-up Goals and Match on the field with protection via Starlight Road or Dark Bribe or Solemn Judgment or whatnot. So, guys, what do you think about side deck and those cards? To me personally, I believe Gear Gears is just a strong deck as I was hyping it up before Toronto, and as I will continue to hype it up until I see something on the same level as it. Now, when I say Gear Gears, I mean you can play any variant you, you believe. I like the Karakuri version, and I like the Machina version, Machina, whichever you want to say it. I like saying Machina. But um, I know some people play Gears with gadgets. I know some people just play gadgets by itself. I just think machines are... I just think the machines are like very, very strong right now. And Cyber Dragon really doesn't hurt it because all these decks right now play heavy back row. Guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about my intro. And like an ad or whatever you need to do. Like my video. Subscribe if you haven't. Share your comments, concerns. And sh just most importantly, share my video, guys. You already know if it's not pro, we got to go deuces. <laughs>